Hey guys, uh, I'm wrapping up here. So, any questions you want to ask about the place? Are you kidding me? Is he kidding? We're just kidding, right? Okay, you know what? I'm off the clock now. So, let me talk to you two like real people. Why do you want to live here? You don't. You like the unit? Two bed, one and a half bath, pet friendly, original molding, lots of light, right near transportation. It's all bullshit. Fuck it in, stupid pre-war vintage fucking hardwood floor face. You know why? Because that super duper nice price your husband was trying to act like he wasn't just a few minutes ago pre-jaculating over. Yeah, I saw you doing your little shmoney dance before you turn into Mr. R, the fucking deal negotiator. Comes with neighbors. Neighbors that'll have you wanting to gnaw your wrist over because finding a street razor to slit it, that just take too long. You want diversity. Comes in two flavors here. Caucasian American and Anglo Saxon. You like music? Stop. Don't answer it. Doesn't matter if you like listening to the sound of wind chimes gently coming together in the morning breeze. It'll always be too loud for your upstairs neighbor Clementine. And that tiny gender neutral child strapped to her chest like a brick of C4 named after some retarded flyer mistake. And we'll eventually leave a trail of passive-aggressive emails begging and pleading for you to keep the noise down because it interrupts her in the morning meditation and post-maternity guilt. And while she's on the subject, you get the highlights of a well-practiced speech about the local element and the noise. She and her fucking gifted yet diarrhea-soaked baby have to suffer through the night because they just moved into the center of a fucking city. And, oh my God. There's an active nightlife consisting of people who lived in the city before them and they just couldn't reconcile themselves to the sleeping habits. Well, she's done. Dear Clementine will sell you with why and how she didn't want to send her little lump tar, Utah or Dakota or whatever the fuck noun the adverb they feel particularly spiritual about to a local school because the teacher to student ratio was amazing but they didn't want little Idaho to be the only non-ethic student in the school. OMG. You two are so articulate and well-educated. You know, we should get together for coffee in a public place so people can see how many African-American friends I have now, which is just so Brooklyn that, holy shit, I'm going to throw up. You know, I'm literally going to throw up talking to you two right now. You know what? Don't buy the fucking place because after you leave, I'm going to burn it to the fucking salted earth, Okay. I'm going to douse it in kerosene and torch the goddamn thing with me standing in it because I really, I just can't stand one more pair of fucking dip tards staggering in here asking questions that a first grader wouldn't be stupid enough to ask. Fucking out of here.